welcome back with just a quick video just want to show you guys how this um, VPN servers I've been using um, people are skeptical on the speeds that I'm getting from the the VPN service when I'm connected and versus when I'm not connected so I'm gonna take a quick speed test refresh that I'm gonna take a quick speed test we're here in Kansas City we're gonna use our Google Fiber server you're seeing these are my regular speeds like normal about 940s or whatever down ever since I added some solid state drives my upload has been kind of wonky so I don't really hit the nines or over in the deep nines of 950s and stuff anymore I barely can scratch the surface of nines so I'm trying to figure that out but anyways, once that's done, we're going to connect to the VPN. Right now, I use private internet access for my VPN. And we're going to click on Texas and save. This should start connecting. I guess I'll just click on Texas manually connect it okay looks like we got a new IP address boom boom so we can go ahead and refresh the speed test and it looks like we're in Texas now and so We'll go with soft layer since it's on the soft layer. Okay, let's see. See, it does drastically reduce my speeds, but not so much when you're trying to stay protected while downloading those, you know, what type files. But this is just a little quick video I want to show you guys. see that upload so I get taxed a little bit using this VPN service but it's definitely worth it when you want to stay anonymous online and still have some pretty nice speeds alrighty I'm out